A very warm good afternoon to one and all. I, Priyanka Agarwal, is going to present you the non-fiction story Two States by Chetan Bhagat. The story unfolds itself from a Punjabi IIT guy Krish who hailed from Delhi and Ananya, pretty and vivacious girl from Chennai. Ananya had a huge fan following as she topped in her looks and personality like none other girl in the campus. She had a countdown of proposals showering on her. Krish had fallen for Ananya at the first sight but didn't realize it that much until they became friends and started studying together. After two years, they developed deep love for each other but never confessed it officially. But Ananya was apprehensively inclined towards marriage. On ending college days, they both aspired to crack the top-notch companies. Krish had to face a grilling interview but he made up to grab the job easily. His instincts couldn't let him concentrate, leading him to propose Ananya for marriage despite that she was in the midst of an interview. This love story isn't a cakewalk like the ones showcased in the movies. There was a vast cultural shift. They both had a break after the campus selection, wherein on the disclosure of their love for each other led to constant family opposition. Owing to the love for Ananya, Krish adopted job at Chennai. He had a strong friction and hatred towards his dad. They hardly talked, while Krish's mother used to let go and live somehow with her insensitive husband. She was taken aback on Krish's departure to Chennai as by now she perceived that her son was in strong clutches of Ananya. Krish stayed in Chennai for nearly six months, striving to pace up with the new city and his would-be in-laws, who could hardly stand him. They had already started looking for prospective grooms. Krish endeavoured to space out in their hearts but failed relentlessly. He went out of the way to coach IIT to Ananya's brother, curbing his sleep and working hours at office but still couldn't achieve any warmth and acceptance from in-laws. Nevertheless, his persistence worked when he helped his father-in-law making company presentation and showcasing the talent of mother-in-law's passion for Carnatic music at the office eminent event. This was completely a surprise package for Ananya's family. On his last day, at Chennai, he offered gifts as gold rings to Ananya's family as a mark of their acceptance for marriage. Ananya and Krish planned a Goa trip for their families, which turned out to be a complete disaster. There was a huge battle amongst their families, due to which Ananya broke up. Krish sank into deep depression and tried to patch up, but nothing worked until his father went secretively to Chennai to sort everything. Ananya informed Krish about the same and rejoiced for their marriage plannings. Krish's relatives travelled to Chennai for the marriage ceremony. Ceremonies were conducted in a Tamilian style. Yes, dreams do come true, as these lovebirds dreamt of watching smiling parents at their marriage rather eloping. In the later years, they were blessed with two sons, who stayed happily thereafter. Learning from the book, Never Lose Hope. Persistence is the key to success. Forgiving anyone can unburden you from pain or anxiety. Never quit. Consistency leads to acceptance. Human link-up matters more than cultural variation. Take interest in others, they will start accepting and loving you. Positive thinking leads to happiness. Love stands true only when you are committed. Personally, I would surely recommend this book as it's filled with great sense of humor and enriches your vocabulary. And in the end, I would give a message to all that love versus intercaste marriages shouldn't be a taboo anymore. Thank you very much.